Hey what's up it's Philip and welcome back to the channel in today's video I'll show you how to create this uh, very simple uh, Niagara effect uh, using some textures some blueprints on Niagara effects uh, and uh, adding some rotating uh, movement uh, everything here is uh, beginner friendly so I hope you will enjoy it so uh, let's start to start we need the material we need textures and we need Niagara particle system so let's start uh, from the first thing it's our uh, texture if you want you can skip this part and uh, directly download the texture from the description below but I uh, recommend uh, to uh, use this uh, Leonardo AI this is a free AI image generation uh, just like Midjourney. click launch app after that click this image creation and over here you can see some textures that we can use in our project if you go on the left side you can choose the preset you can see the preset will be graphic design preset style to be graphic design 2d and my prompt is this simple magic circle texture black and white and click generate and uh, when you're generating this uh, texture uh, you will uh, spend 14 tokens but those tokens will uh, refresh uh, each day and up here you can see that we have uh, 136 tokens to spend and we spend only 14 to create uh, four nice textures you can just copy and paste the options from the left side of the window and now what we are going to do click one of your textures and you can click here remove background and when you remove the background you can click here download image and when you download image you can see your image over here on the desktop and now all, all we need to do is to drag and drop this image to our unreal engine the next step is to create a material that will contain this texture and we want this texture to glow to have some color so to do that we will go right click material and type in you can name it m circle double click to open it up to import our texture you can just go over here and drag it to your graph or you can go control and space and drag it from here we can't just connect this with the base color because if you go over here and click this set preview mesh to a plain primitive you can see it has this black uh, background we need to have this uh, transparent so we need to connect this to opacity but you can see it's not available so we hold alt and left click to break this node and select your uh, output node result node and on the left side under the blend mode choose translucent and now we have our opacity here so just connect it to the opacity uh, make sure that you select your result node and select two-sided and now we don't actually see how it supposed to look so we need to add some color to do that hold three on your keyboard and left click and this will be our call we can connect this with emissive color or base color if you connect to base color and double click this black and change it for example to be red you can see that it looks better now we can also connect this to emissive color here and it will glow and to change the glow we can delete this base color hold alt and left click we can add one constant node hold one and left click if you want to learn more about these uh, shortcuts uh, you can check out uh, this uh, video also we need to combine those two hold m left click and let's connect it a and to b break this with alt and left click and put it to emissive color because if we now select our constant node here we can change value to be for example 50 and you can see how bright and emissive our uh, texture is so let's go with 20 for now and hit save okay let's now add the texture to our level i will create file and go to new level so we have this clean level you can just go and drag and drop your uh, texture here because it will apply it to our floor uh, we need to add a plane so we will go here and type in plane drag and drop the plane here and drag and drop your material to the plane and we have our texture you can make it bigger by holding r and just make this super big like this and position it a little bit above the floor so we need to make this texture rotate and uh, spawn some particles let's first uh, go with the easy one this is the rotation make sure to save everything and type in map one we need to create a blueprint so don't worry right click and go to blueprint class actor and type in bp rotating and let's open it up and over here let's uh, add the same thing plane and we want the texture on our plane to be select your plane on the right side you can see materials and we will 
drop down circle and choose our circle material and uh, we want to click add and type in rotating movement and uh, if you select your rotating movement on the right side you can see rotation rate and this is x y and z axis so we want to rotate it around the z axis and we want this to be uh, let's keep this 180 so you can see this hit compile go back to your map and we can delete this and we can now add our blueprint here so edit you can also make it a little bigger you can also go over here and uh, click uh, simulate so we can simulate the effect here uh, go over here close this material we don't need it anymore under here under the rotating change this rotation rate to be for example 20 it's a little bit slower hit compile go back to map and simulate if you press g you can see how it slowly rotates the next step is to make this scene better by adding some niagara effects so to do that we'll go right click go to uh, niagara system and make sure to find fountain click it hit create and type in ns as niagara system and type in circle make sure to save everything in Control shift and s and double click to open it up and over here don't worry about anything of this uh, it's very simple the most important thing is over here down here that you can see how our particles are created so just hit uh, space and it will constantly previewing our particles so don't worry uh, select your emitter on the right side and let's delete things that we don't need so this is the drag we don't need this and we don't need gravity as you can see these particles are spawned from a cone we need the cylinder so we can put this cylinder on top of our uh, texture so go over here that you can see shape location is sphere change this to cylinder and uh, they are a bit fast so to change uh, speed go to add velocity and make sure to change this velocity from cone to linear and now they will go in a straight line from bottom to top and the speed is just fine you can change it here for example if you want to, this to be slower make it 20. This is the z-axis and if you change over here 100 they will go into another direction so it's very important to select only this z and change to 20 as we did before and we have a nice uh, effect if you want to change the number of particles you can go over here to spawn rate and change this for example to 500 you can see how many of them are here let's go back to 90 now let's change the color and the size so to change size select your emitter and type in over here size and you can see under the sprite attributes you can see sprite size mode random uniform this means that the size will go with from 6 to 12 let's go change this from 2 to 5 so make them nice and a little bit smaller and to change the color you can go up here just you can see here change the color and change this color for example to be also red and click ok and we have our particles now so make sure to save everything okay we have our particles now just drag and drop our particles to our texture and we have a problem they are too small if I press G you can see them but they are a bit small so we need to make them bigger but before we change the size of our particles we need to combine everything into one uh, blueprint so make sure to open your blueprint again here and we, we will now add Niagara particle system as you can see it already automatically add our particle system so we can just hit enter if it didn't select this ns circle and on the right side under niagara system asset make sure to select our particle effects and they are a little bit big so let's make them smaller go to uh, ns circle like this and drag it here and go over here on the shape location cylinder you can change the cylinder uh, size so this will be cylinder radius so you can reduce the cylinder radius and if you don't want to have this selected select this rotating and now reduce the cylinder radius and play with the cylinder radius until you find what it's uh, what looks good uh, if you want to have more subtle patterns I just overkill this you can select your fountain type in size as always and change this size of the particles again for example for one to three and now they look just fine make sure to save everything go over here compile and hit save and now go to map and we have our particles here you can delete these old particles uh, let's increase a little bit our spawn rate so go to spawn rate and make this over here to be for example 200 and save it so we can check it out 
and if you click simulate and press G and go F11 you can see your effect here and we can move this everywhere we want so it will always stay as a, a complete uh, one stand alone unit of course if you want of course if you want you can click add and go to add feature content pack hit content add some starter content to get some uh, nice textures and go over here to content starter content materials and drag and drop some nice material to the ground for example this metal steel material you can go back to our content go to select our material move it here so you can see it better and change the value of our glow for example 10 hit apply or like five so it looks better and this is it this is how you make a simple niagara effect in unreal engine 5 i hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, if it is uh, drop some likes and comments below it's highly appreciated and uh, subscribe for more videos like this and uh, see you in some uh, other video thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye